Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Pisces. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the month of January 2021. A lot of you are going to watch this way before then. Keep in mind, this is for January 2021. This is like a preview, right? Um, so, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, what do we got? start right here. What do we have for Pisces for the month of January? Partnerships and alliances. This is the three of wands. So you may be Maybe you're going to be signing a contract with somebody or signing an agreement or coming up with some sort of agreement with somebody. Looks like you're going to be partnering up by the looks of things. Okay. Maybe you're going to be, um, well, this is expansion. And it and usually this is expanding in a different area. Okay. It could be internationally. could be a different location. It could be... Um, overseas over you know at a distance partnering up with somebody that is at a distance okay um, you may be coming to some sort of agreement with somebody um, that is not uh, in your area that's what I feel I feel like you're gonna be partnering up with somebody that is at a distance um, You need to be optimistic during this time. It looks like this could be a profitable partnership. Ask for help. I don't know what that is. I guess it's on the card. Anyhow. Ask for help. What is it you really need help with? Be willing to allow yourself the support you need. There is somebody that is afar. This person is afar. They're at a distance that can help you. So you're going to be getting help from somebody. You are. I know that you are because this wouldn't be here. Um, there is somebody that can help you. This person is at a distance. I think that you will be uh, working with this person. True love on the bottom. I don't usually look at the bottom of this deck, but I just happen to look down. This love is a once-in-a-lifetime love. So this may be with somebody that you're going to fall in love with or that you're already in love with or, or something like that. Um, anyhow, Pisces, I feel like you will be um, receiving help from somebody that is uh, at a distance and you will be uh, signing some agreement or not. It could even be an oral agreement, making some sort of agreement to work together with this person. So what do we have for Pisces for January? Seeing clearly, if you were in a state of illusion in January, you're going to be seeing clearly what you need to do. Knight of Pentacles reversed. Now this is somebody that is irresponsible, that is unhealthy. Uh, not qualified, no long-term plan, unemployed, lack of financial stability here. So maybe you're struggling financially and you see clearly what you have to do. Maybe you need some help um, with your finances or your money or your stability or something like that. Um, you're going to receive. Whoever is going to help you has the ability to help you financially. This is financial help. It is financial stability. It's receiving something of value. Somebody has something they can give you. It's very valuable. It's going to help to bring you back to balance. So there's somebody that can help you. Um, you're going to be receiving a gift or somebody's going to be very generous with you. They're going to help you out of this, whatever it is. Um, maybe somebody from your past. This, this could be somebody from your past. Um, 
Maybe it's somebody that you knew a long time ago or somebody that you have some sort of connection with or you had a connection with them a long time ago. You may have worked with them before. Um, this is somebody that you probably have some sort of feelings for. You did at one time. You may see, see clearly that this is the person that can help you now. You probably, maybe you, uh, like I said, worked with them in the past. You definitely have some sort of memories with this person. Maybe you need to ask this person for some sort of help. Um, mm, this is financial burden. So I think that you're going through some sort of financial burdens. And who? Uh, it may be an earth sign. I don't know if you're dealing with an earth sign. Could be another water sign. It's a water sign or an earth sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Whoever this person is, they have the means to help you. All you have to do is ask and agree. You will probably be partnering up with this person. Anyway, this Five of Pentacles reverse, this is a turning point. Okay, this person can help you to uh, get to a better place in some way. Financially, it's like this person is stable. They're solid. They plan, you know, and maybe they can help you to get out of some sort of financial predicament that you're in. Um, there is light at the end of the tunnel. You're about to see some sort of improvements, improvements. Perhaps uh, there's been some sort of abandonment or illusion or fantasy or somebody made some poor choices in the past. We have poor choices in the past which caused financial hardship. There may have been some ghosting or some neglect, um, but seeing very clearly what you need to do. So you're going to be needing, you will see that you need to ask this person for help. And I think this person will agree. Whoever this person is, I think that they will agree to help you in some way. Um, chariot. May, somebody may end up moving. They maybe end up taking a ride, going someplace, traveling. This person is at a distance. You may be going to visit this person. They may be coming to visit you vice versa, something like that. There, This is moving, getting in the driver's seat and going someplace. So you, you're going to be going someplace. There's going to be, I think you're going to be interacting with this person this month. You're going to be meeting up with each other. This is somebody that you know or that you're very familiar with, okay, because of that Six of Cups. There's some sort of past connection here. Um, There's been some sort of injustice, though it's interesting with these two right next to each other. This is getting what you deserve, but somebody was treated unfairly. There's been some unfair treatment here. There's There's been an injustice. There's been lies. Somebody didn't want to be held accountable for their actions, and they were lying. They weren't telling the truth. Uh, there could be some legal losses. Perhaps somebody was sued, or they had a legal loss. And that's what's caused the financial hardship. I don't know. Um, could be dealing with a Libra. You may may or may not be. Um, could be dealing with a Cancer. But I feel as though you will be moving away from something that cost you a lot of money. Whatever it is. And whoever you are moving towards can help you to rebuild. They can help you to build, rebuild your financial stability. Um, I think that there's been some unfair treatment here, and I don't know if you've treated somebody unfairly, and this could reading can go vice versa. So if you were the cross watcher watching this, this reading could be for you. This is unfair treatment. This is unjust. It's not fair. It's not fair. Something may not go in your favor, or it didn't go in your favor legally, you know, in the, in the court. You know, if you had a court case, it may have not went in your favor. Um, but I do feel like you are going to be uh, moving, moving to a better place. You're going to be receiving help from somebody that is going to bring you some sort of stability that you are lacking. Okay? I feel like you're, you may be feeling unbalanced. You may be feeling like something, you know, this is not right. It's not right. It's not fair. I can't believe this has happened. But I feel like it happened for a reason. I, there's been some sort of illusion here. Somebody made some poor choices. They were very materialistic, very materialistic. And, you know, now... Uh,
whoever this person is that was materialistic is seeing clearly that that, that isn't all that mattered. Anyhow, we do have a reconnection with somebody from the past. I think there's traveling to this person. You know, there's some sort of travel. Um, this is a wish being granted. This is the answer to your prayers. This is a blessing. This is help arriving after the tower falls. So there is help arriving for you. Somebody is coming to help. It's like you are some. It's like the, uh, this may be somebody who's famous, even somebody that's a star. Okay, but anyhow, this person um, there's an opportunity for renewal. There's an oppor Just don't lose hope because there's somebody coming to help you. They have something to give you that is going to bring, make you successful. They can help you to be successful, but you're going to need to find your determination and your strength to let go of something that was unjust, okay? you got to forgive something by the looks of things. Anyhow, um, this star card is a card of hope. It's a card of guidance and protection. You are protected. You are going to be given an opportunity. Everything happens for a reason. Somebody needed to learn a lesson. This is this is consequences. Somebody needed to learn a lesson. But anyhow, you definitely have help arriving. There is help arriving that is going to restore your your hope. Maybe it's hope in humanity. You know what I mean? You're going to be given something very generous. Somebody's going to be very generous with you. This is going to uh, bring back your success in some way. And I know that's hard to believe. It's, it is hard to believe. But this is about believing. Okay? Um, this is a wish being granted. This is the answer to your prayers. Your prayers are being heard. There is some sort of guidance, maybe from somebody that has passed away, it's like somebody that has passed away is is bringing you some sort of opportunity. It feels like it's it's it's, it's an opportunity to uh, be successful because this is about success. Success. I think that you are going to be moving someplace that will bring you more success. This is a very exciting opportunity. This is good news. This is an offer or an invite from somebody. To start over, I feel like you have you uh, you have some something really good coming for you. All you have to do is ask for help. I think you know who this person is already, and they will help you. I think that they will help you. I think this is is an exciting opportunity for you to grow. Okay, this is this is about something coming to fruition. This is a fresh start. This is exciting. This is a new adventure. So you're going to be starting something new. This is the answer to your prayers. This is a wish being granted. You're receiving help. Somebody is going to help you. But it may involve moving. This chariot is moving. It's moving in a new direction. It's getting in the driver's seat and going someplace. It's like packing your bags. And leaving. So Pisces, I feel as though January is going to be, a, you're going to have a reconnection with somebody from your past that is at a distance. This person is at a distance. And we get the Ten of Wands reverse. That is dropping weight. That's dropping weight. It's it's dropping baggage, letting go of a burden. Your balance is waiting. Balance is waiting for you. And I feel like you are headed towards balance. I think that you've been in an imbalanced situation where you've been weighed down. You've been held back. You've been, you know, maybe living some sort of lie. I don't know. With that justice reversed, there's, there's been... 
unable to see the truth you know but i think that something is happening where you're able to see clearly there may be a circumstance so maybe somebody moves i don't know There's something about moving here where you see you see something about uh i don't know you see something about abandonment or ghosting or whatever and it it uh brings you some sort of clarity you get some sort of clarity this month that first card is clarity seeing clearly now after being in fantasy or being in some sort of illusion somebody was neglected or ghosted or left behind somebody from your past and maybe this is about making it right i don't know anyway this is dropping weight this is uh making a conscious change to be healthy and let go of burdens and let go of baggage and uh, let go of things you've been holding on to and so i feel like you are going to find yourself more uh, at ease i think that you're going to find things more at ease in january because there's somebody that is coming to help you I think it's a time to celebrate i do i think you're going to be having fun i think you're going to be socializing I think that uh, you may be building new friendships. I just feel like it's going to be a really, really, really good month for you. Good luck.